The Taige class of the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, shortly JMSDF, is the next generation of Japanese diesel submarines and the evolution of the previous Soryu class. The capabilities of the Taige remain shrouded in secrecy, both in terms of current and future technologies. What we do know is that they feature lithium-ion batteries, like the last two boats of the Soryu class, but will have other new technologies, like new hydrophones and noise reduction features. This video discusses what is new on the Taige. The word Taige means big whale, while the second boat in the class, the Hakuge, means white whale, so it is likely that the remainder of the class will also be named after whales. The development of the Taige class is the culmination of many different research projects since the early 2000s that's aimed to produce improved submarine components, ranging from sonars, combat systems, batteries to noise reduction. The Taige class is a fusion of all these different projects. The JMSDF commissioned the first Taige submarine on the 9th of March 2022. Reading through the various media reports, I get the sense that most of the technology intended for the class are still in development or are still being tested. So the lead boat, the Taige, is more of an experimental submarine that will test all the technologies that are slated to go into future Japanese submarines. The external appearance of the Taige is similar to the Soryu, although it has a slightly increased displacement to accommodate a new position for the fuel tanks. The underwater displacement is around 4,300 tons, with a complement estimated at around 70. The Taige class is a conventionally powered diesel-electric submarine, but unlike similar submarines, the Taige can stay submerged for an extended period of time. The secret? Lithium-ion batteries. The JMSDF began researching lithium-ion technology in the early 2000s, and the fruits of that research were installed on the last two Soryu class submarines. The Taige class is equipped with a large number of lithium-ion batteries. These batteries can store much more energy than the traditional lead-acid batteries. Most commentators agree that for the same amount of mass, the lithium-ion batteries can store twice as much energy as lead-acid batteries. This extends the period of time the submarine can remain submerged and allows for more sustained high performance while underwater. For example, the Taige would be able to travel at the top speed for far longer than a Soryu without lithium-ion batteries. Another potential advantage of the lithium-ion batteries is that they can be recharged much more quickly. To recharge the batteries, a submarine will need to snorkel to use their diesel power plants. According to the Japanese maritime magazine, J-Ships, a typical JMSDF submarine with its lead-acid batteries will take between 5 to 10 hours to recharge, while a submarine with lithium-ion batteries takes just 1 to 2 hours, which makes it more stealthy on long deployments. The lithium-ion batteries proved to be so effective that Japan saw no need to use AIP once the batteries are working. The Japanese ambassador to Australia, Sumio Kusaka, wrote the following in April 2016, quote, Japan has experience operating seven submarines installed with AIP systems. But after considering the evolution in lithium-ion battery technology, including higher energy density, greater safety, faster recharging times, Japan decided not to install AIP systems 
on submarines that will be built from 2015 onwards." Unquote. However, the main weakness or challenge associated with lithium-ion batteries is concerns around safety. At present, these batteries are encountering concerns around fire safety in a variety of industries, including consumer electronics, automotives, aviation, and marine sectors. Potentially, the most catastrophic failure involving lithium-ion batteries involves uncontrolled temperature increase due to battery failure, which can release thermal energy and even cause explosions. Most critically, for a submarine, the rapid release of thermal energy can heat up neighboring battery cells, causing a cascade of failures throughout the entire battery bank. This can of course lead very quickly to a catastrophic fire. Japan's decision to install the lithium-ion batteries on submarines suggests that the JNSDF has overcome the technical challenges to enhance the safety of these batteries and feels comfortable using them. There are several new features that should reduce the noise levels of these submarines. Open source information on these technologies are vague, but we will go through them. In 2017, JMSDF initiated research on a new silent drive system to reduce the noise level while in ultra-silent mode. The system is still being tested. Secondly, there is a buffer mechanism between the outer and the inner hulls that should help to shield the exterior of the submarine from the vibrations of its own electric motors and other sources of internal noise. Another step to reduce the Tigase noise signature relates to fluid noise, or the sound created by ocean water flowing over the submarine's surfaces. A smoother, sleeker design means less fluid noise. The final major upgrades for the Taige from the preceding Soyu class are the sonar suite and the combat system. A new generation sonar system based on fiber optic array technology is being developed with enhancements to its power saving and detection capability, especially in shallow waters. The JMSDF is responding to the expected improvement in the quietness of future submarines and surface warships. The Taige class will employ a new combat management system, combining integrated sensors, command and control, and weapon systems, but they provided no specific details. Both the new sonar array and the combat management system will be operationalized on the Taige once they are ready. In conclusion, the increase in capability from the Soyu to the Taige are highly secretive. What we do know is that the Taige is fully equipped with lithium-ion batteries in place of the Stirling AIP engines found on the Soyu class. The Taige also features a large number of noise-reducing technologies and a new sonar suite and a new combat management system. But it seems that most of these new technology are still in development, and their status is not publicly known. <laughs>